Okay, so I got my card today. <laughs> um, Danny was able to FedEx the mo money to Tina Mom, and she picked me up from Nans. We went down, got the car, and I brought it back to Nans because the brakes need work. I'm guessing from the way that I applied pressure, it lost some brake fluid. So I mean, I'm gonna re replace the rotors and the pads on that anyway. So buying some brake fluid would not be a majorly difficult thing. Um, the exhaust needs work on it, which is not a bad thing. The clutch needs to work great. And even though I am, <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, but I'm nervous about driving a stick, but I love it. I love it so much. Like I don't let anything distract me. I tried using the radio and I'm like, yep, too much distraction. I gotta focus. I don't need focus to get the way and RPMs with the exhaust kind of like a little bit wonky. I can't just hear it right. I kind of have to feel it and base it upon the numbers and just kind of keep it steady. I got a lot to learn. But I'm happy about it. Chuck wasn't all that happy about it though. As usual, almost as expected as Simon said, he was like, well, I could have gotten you a better deal. And I could have found you a better car and everything else. And honestly, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> now, there is rust damage on the exteriors of all cosmetics. Um, the front fender, the size of the fender, where the front wheels are, and there's like cold, like almost symmetrical. <laughs> almost. Um, the hood or the front bumper has a little rust on the front too, probably just from being outside too long. And the trunk has a little rust on, on, the, on the trunk, but it's nothing on the frame. Um, I think it would easily pass inspection once I get the exhaust and the brakes done. And the cosmetics, I think I can work on. It's a nice little project car that I can drive around as a daily driver. And as a learning experience, I'm, I'm, you have no idea how stoked I am about this. It makes me so happy. So even though Chuck might not be exactly the happy is that like I spent, how much I spent on that? I had $600 and... I use about 200 of that for the whole processing of getting the registration and everything else like that. Um, and the fees and everything else. Um, and also keep in mind, I don't have, I, I didn't have insurance, so Danny helped me out with that. Big D, oh my God, like he definitely helped me out with that. Um, I spent $400 on that card, more or less. Um, then I spent $70 on the clutch so that it would, wouldn't be as expensive. Um, I also already bought the brakes so they're sitting they should be sitting in the trunk of the car so i need to work uh, but yeah uh, i need to work on that pull that out work on it either sometime this weekend or it's just sometime this week chuck's kind of mad that like he's like you know you could have gotten a better deal for a better car but keep in mind prior to getting this car i try to get a ford escape the guy raised the price on it three times three times before that, it was a Subaru, and the guy, whenever I'm like, okay, I'm coming up to go look at the car and potentially buy it, he was like, oh, don't worry, I'll just give it to a friend. I think it was because, like, I couldn't make it that one day. I'm like, all right, I'm coming up the day after. But like, oh, don't worry, I'll just give it to my friend, and that was the end of that conversation. Because he just blocked me. I'm like, oh, okay. And I, there was another person before that. Yeah, there was, there was another Ford Escape in State College, and I wanted that. And that person just didn't want to give me the address where... For me to come by and look at the car they didn't want to give me a legitimate price like i had so much trouble being able to find a vehicle and not only that like every time i actually had enough money there'd be a situation that needed to be addressed like hey do you mind if we borrow like 300 of your of, of that car money and we give it back to you as soon as we got as soon as we get it back and i was like okay yeah you know and i'll lend it out and like within a week or two i'll see another vehicle I'm like ah oh, if i had the money i would at least inquire about it but who's gonna hold a car for somebody who doesn't have the money over somebody who does have the money right there and then. So I am happy with my Mitsubishi Lancer. It's something that I've always kind of wanted. I Maybe a Honda Civic might have been a little bit higher on the list of things that I wanted. Or even a uh, Silica. Oh my god, I saw a Silica that I wanted, but the person wanted like two grand. I'm like, I can't, I can't save up that kind of money that quickly. Like, it's not something I can even, like, and not many people want to do payments. They kind of want the money right there and then so that they themselves can get another vehicle. And it's, like, short notice and with the circumstances around it, this definitely, for me, is the best car for me. I, I, I love it. 
right now it's sitting down at Nan's, and I am eager to get working on it, regardless of what anybody else thinks. I think it'll be a good experience for me to learn more about how to work on cars. I like cars. I love cars. If you guys have seen my one video, I am a car enthusiast. I like seeing cars. I like not not just like new cars and not just like, you know, being a gearhead, but like, you know, I, I appreciate the, the old school. <laughs> Thanks to, like, Granddad Donnie, you know, I'm able to kind of go, like, you know, he goes, oh, well, that car is this and that car is that. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. That's cool. And that's everything else. I, 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 I think regardless of what anybody else thinks, I'm very happy. And now that I actually have it, kind of, I just need to get it legal to drive. And then, who knows? I probably won't be able to get the cosmetics done until maybe closer to Christmas. Or maybe even started. <laughs> but I'm hoping that by next week I'll be able to have most of the things that need to get done on it done to be able to get it inspected. And then I will... I think I'm going to be able to pay for my own insurance on this car. Um, definitely something that I want to do because I can't keep like piggybacking on other people. Like, oh yeah, I live with you guys and I'll pay you this much. It's like, you know, I can just kind of pay for my own. Not really that bad of a thing. I think it's a step in the right direction for me. Step in my direction. Rather than somebody else making a step for me. And not only that, me and, me and Big D, like, we're definitely going to work on this. Because this has been, like, more or less our dream to kind of, like, work on a car like this for a while. Like, he's always had, like, the older car. Matter of fact, right now, I think he has, like, a luxury car. One of those Mercedes. And it's just, like, really nice. And it's just like, ah, but it's so small and cramped. And... Yeah, like, it's kind of cool, but, like, not really my style. Well, this car is not horrible. <laughs> it's it's kind of beat up. And I pre like, but it gives a character, and I like it like that. <laughs> I've been calling it Jean because it's gray. And I'm like, okay, well, what can I call it? I, I was going to call it the, the one girl from Fifty Shades of Grey. And I realized I really didn't even care for the movie or the book, so, like, why am I going to call it that? I was just going to call it gray. I'm like, oh, I don't really feel that either, so... I was like, okay, what else is gray? And I'm like, thinking gray, gray, Jean Gray. So the car's name is Jean. Or Jeannie. Depending on my mood. I think me and Jean are going to have a few years together. It'll be fun learning experience. I'll treat her better this time. I, I'll treat this one better than Kelly. I'm not going to let everybody and their grandma drive because I don't feel like driving. <laughs> I'm not going to lend it out. And since it's a stick, it's not going to be something that everybody has a skill with. Even people who are like, oh yeah, I can drive it. I'm like, nah, man. Unless you got a job to be able to pay for the damages or whatever. I don't think it's going to be a good idea. And I think if people want rides, I'm going to start charging them. Like very few, few of them will be free. Be like, okay, well, if it's an emergency, I get that. I totally get that. We'll figure out payment for that later. But like if it's an emergency, like, oh, I really need to be somewhere. I'm like, okay, well, I'll take you and we'll figure out where we are after the emergency has stopped being an emergency. <laughs> I'm just really excited. Even if I don't think anybody else is really excited for me, but that's okay. My car. My jean. I'm happy. And at the end of, end of the day, that's the only thing that really matters, right? <laughs> Fingers crossed for the beginning of September being mm, me just being all over the place. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be driving a lot more since today I went to Oil City. Who knows what the future's going to hold. I probably won't even be driving my car as often as I would like, but at least I know I'll be mostly, I'll be the main one driving my own car. So, even though everybody else is like, it's just a car. My reply to that is, fuck yourself. <laughs> it's my car. My blood, my sweat, my tears are going to go into it. That's mine. Just like this computer, blood, sweat, and tears mine my friend helped me get it and ever since then i put things into it i put a graphics card into it ram into it i installed the L led lights into it thanks to thanks to big d he helped me with it but i'm the one that installed it i'm the one to help pay for it this is mine the car is gonna work the same way i'm like i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited <laughs>